Today's exciting day. We're back in my home studio here and we're going to talk through how to set up a sauna and set it up for EOS. If you haven't heard of EOS, EOS is an entrepreneurial operating system. It's a way to manage your team and people in a really efficient way. So we're going to walk through this introductory process specifically for property management companies and Airbnb hosts when you operate with more than one person. Make sure you watch this entire video all the way to the end. We're going to go through some key important tips in setting up the system correctly. So this is the main page of Asana where you could find the different plans and tiers they offer. So we're going to start with the basic free plan. You're going to hit here, get started. You're going to put your email in, continue with basic. So now this is your Asana dashboard. So you can modify your name up here by going into your settings. You could create a new workspace. You can invite others to Asana. You could upgrade your plan, go into your profile settings. So first things we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. So hit new project blank. We're going to call this L10. Public to my workspace is fine, but you could also invite project members and we're going to do list view. So there are a few different types of views, list, board view, timeline, and calendar. I personally prefer list, um, L10, go hit continue. Now we have the L10. The first thing, uh, usually you have on L10 is your segue. However, we're only running with the team of two people for this L10 meeting. So we're going to skip that. Next, we're going to have a rock section. We have our rocks. Um, we're actually going to set our annual rocks. And then we're going to below that have a new section called quarterly rocks. After that, we're going to add a section to let's make it to do's. And these are your weekly to do's. And then a new section called IDS. New section called non prior issues. Parking lot. Five. And then I actually like having up at the top one more. You do it like new requests. Please help support our channel. We're trying to grow it, provide more useful free content to other hosts, people like you who are setting up your property management business. So drop a comment below, like this video and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm, boost this video up and get more people out there the free resources they need to help grow their business. L10 is part of the EOS environment that is the entrepreneurial operating system. So it's going to be a 60 90 minute meeting once a week with your team to go through your stuff for the week. So new requests that come in could go up here or it could go into non prioritized issues. I like having it a little bit separately just to keep it cleaner. Your, your annual rocks, your quarterly rocks, your to do's weekly. So these are set by, let's say your L10 runs Monday through Monday, then they'll be set every week on Monday and go till the following Monday. Your IDS, nothing goes here until you go into your L10 and then the team decides what they're gonna do for their IDS. Non-prioritized issues are issues that get dropped down that aren't priority. And then parking lot are things that you push off to next quarter, next year. An archive is archive. One other thing I usually like to do is below quarterly rocks, I like to add a new section, which is called meetings. And this would be weekly. So these are upcoming meetings that we have for the week that I want to record the details about in Asana. So a good example, new request guest has an issue with, let's say check in app not allowing him to check in at his allotted time and then you would assign it to whoever is going to do it and set a due date so that would happen during your l10 so for example new request comes in 
This might come in on a Sunday. Guest checks in, they're having an issue with the system. Then you're having your L10 on Monday. So during the L10, the team decides that, hey, this new request that came in or new issue is something we want to discuss. You drop it down to your IDS, team discuss it. They said, great, the outcome is let's reach out to our developer or whoever we're using, having built this out for us. That's the outcome. So you go in, you make a note, you say reach out to developer and help get this resolved for future guests. Boom. Then you're assigned to it. It's in there. You're all set. You could assign it to yourself. Add due date. So this would be next Monday. Drop it down. Now you're going to move it up. So quick tip, those little arrows could jump it up to the weekly tasks or whichever section you want to move it to, you don't have to click and drag, which is really important once this starts getting built out with a lot of items. So there we go. So now next week, Monday is a due date, I'm trying to resolve this. If we can't do it, then we'll mark it as dependency, dependency, or we'll mark it as completed if it's all set. Um, one important thing to keep in mind is that once it's completed, you mark completed, but you don't check it off until you meet as a team to go through all the completed tasks together. So again, this is a great way to solve your basically your weekly meetings as a team to keep everything organized. Today's video is brought to you by our friends over at Bookly. Bookly is the first single URL platform out there built for hosts of Airbnb and VRBO. Bookly maximizes your social media channels by turning them into bookings. Use the code RENTLIBPLAY to get 15% off your subscription to Bookly or click the link in our description below. One other thing you can do, so this is we Meetings Weekly. You could set up a section below called Working Session. Topics. So for the working session, these would be things you want to cover. So let's say this issue brought up a bigger issue, which is software needs to be QC'd at property launch. Then during your working session, your team, because working sessions are always done as a team, would go through this topic and talk about it. And let's say they say, okay, well, at property launch, we've decided we need the property manager, we need a test reservation, we need the developer involved, then you would go through it and you would talk through all this as a team. So if this is all set, then it would be marked as completed. Same with working session, you complete it after the session. For meetings up here, these would be like calls you have with employees or other companies or other things you wanna record notes on. Your annual rocks, those would be your company rocks, your quarterly goals, this would be like your department goals or your company goals for the quarter or your team member goals, however you want to structure that. So this is basically the overview of how to run your L10. This will maximize your team efficiency and make sure that everything you're doing is really well organized and you can keep track of what's being done by who. We run an EOS environment in everything we do, especially property management. So we want to give you a quick rundown of how to set this up from the ground up if you're trying to run EOS for your team. If you'd like to get started with Asana and EOS for your business, we're gonna leave a link in the description below. Go down there, click the link and get set up today.